Today, I'm going to be doing some chicken on the rotisserie. It's not going to be whole chickens. It's going to be quarters. So how am I going to do that? Well, I'm going to use these baskets. I've done this once before, about, I don't know, a year and a half ago, but I'm going to set those chicken quarters down in these baskets. These are the baskets you've seen before. they got the lid that goes on. Had handles on them, but I took my bolt cutters and whacked the handle off. And then I'm going to be running my rotisserie rod, spit rod, through here and put it in the rotisserie. It'll be the Cajun Bandit rotisserie the extension ring sitting on top of the Weber Smoky Mountain. So it'll be an interesting cook. I don't have to use this. I can just put the chicken on, hang the chicken, lay the chicken. But this is a YouTube channel where we like to try different things. So for all of you that are going to leave a comment, why did you do all that? Well, because I got the stuff and I want to play around with it. That's all. So, I got me a 10 pound bag of chicken quarters that was on sale at a new food line yesterday here in Florence. So we got a couple of bags of them. One in the freezer and one on the grill today. Y'all stand by and I'll be right back and show you what this bag of chicken looks like in these baskets. Okay, I've washed my chicken and now I'm going to all down the baskets so they won't stick when they get cooked in there. Okay, I've got the basket that I washed off and dried off and now I'm just gonna spray it. You don't have to do this, but it helps. Uh, when you go to remove the chicken that's been cooking in this basket, you can see you got to clean up this extra fat that's on this chicken sometimes when you get them. I guess that's why they were half price. <laughs> you have to clean them up a little bit and get that extra fat and skin cut off. You know, see there's a big flap. So you just go in there and take it off. But what else have I got to do, right? All right, guys, let's put a little salt, a little kosher salt down. They've all been washed and trimmed, so. And these are gonna be going on that rotisserie and I'm gonna be mopping them with some vinegar and butter. Okay, we got six in this basket. As you can see, I'm gonna get, no, we got seven. I squeezed one more in. Six fits real comfortable, but the seventh one was squeezed in there. Now, we'll set that over there. And I'm gonna put the last six in here. Okay, guys, it's time to put the lid on. I'll we'll take these basket tops and put them on here in about the second slot. There we go. Okay, we got that part done. Go with some Royal Oak Classic Premium Charcoal Briquettes. I'm gonna be putting it down in the bottom in this large charcoal basket from Arbor Fab. If you're interested in a large charcoal basket, you get 10% off. Just use the PIF code PIF5 on their website at checkout. Here's my setup. Getting ready to start this fire. Hold on. All right, we got a little half chimney here. I'm gonna pour in through the door into the middle. Okay, got her going. I had to make a little adjustment and stack the baskets. This chicken's been on the rotisserie about 20 minutes, 25 minutes. I'm going to baste it. Let's stop the roadie right here. This makes it so easy to baste. It's up high, it's 
not burning my hands to reach in. I got some apple cider vinegar here. Put a little bit of that on. Now let's flip it over. Down, boy. Down. That's hitting that uh, fire dial. That's what that's doing. Fire dial doing a good job deflecting that heat and fire. This order will turn out real nice. All right, we're gonna put that lid back on. Quieten that little flame down. Get that roadie going again. Probably see, well, you see a lot of smoke. <laughs> I've just got it on the rotisserie. I've got that lid cracked. And that's why it's coming out up there to smoke. It's coming out here. I've got the front door cracked. And believe me, this is another whole different way of doing chicken. I know this is a smoker. I've said it before. But uh, it makes for some really good tasting chicken. When you don't smoke it and you let the smoke come out at the great level, usually, but since I've got the extension ring on uh, that throws another little kink in it but that's why I've cracked the lid but uh, this is just a little technique that I use sometimes try it you might like it I will say I have all of my vents on the bottom closed every last one of them and you say well how are you getting air well this uh, guru port I take the uh, cap off of it so that's all the air that's going in is through that guru port and it's doing just fine I'm trying to control these high temps to get the temps back down we've been running around 350 360 I only have the pit probe it's coming back down it's at 379 but I don't have a meat probe in because I'm using the rotisserie and I don't have a meter wireless thermometer to go into the meat without wires you know if you're going round and round on a rotisserie you can't have wires connected in the meat but I'll be using my thermopop in a little while to see where we are on the meat temp 40 to 45 minutes we need to check on the chicken looking very nice I need to temp it look at that Yep, looking good. We've been averaging around 350, 360. Get our thermopop out here and turn it on. And turn this ready off. It's time to start saucing. So, let me set this camera in the tripod and show you what we're gonna do. Okay, before we sauce, I'm just going to hit it with some more vinegar and what I've got today I've got a 3D what this is is a third of it is Richard's mustard sauce a third of it is Piff's Carolina and the rest of it I want some leftover Uncle Albert's vinegar mustard sauce so all of them are very similar so we're going to saucer down. This ought to really make for some good tasting chicken. Barbecue chicken. That won't take long. Let's flip her over. There we go. On this, I'm getting out of control. Six minutes, we're at 358. Let's check this chicken. All right, probably 10 more minutes or so. We're starting to rain. We are under the umbrella. It's not blowing. 
Like that last ordeal. Woo! Coming down like a cow on a flat rock. Look at that. Man, it stops. Okay, we've got some barbecue chicken, some cream corn being helped and served, some peas, okra out of my garden, and some roasted potatoes, and some bread. So, I'm not going to do a taste test tonight. We're just going to help our plates, and but I'll show you the chicken. Isn't that nice? It looks wonderful.